What we're going to be cooking up today is called uh, Lomo Saltado, which is a Peruvian stir fry. So we got some strips of meat. Obviously, what we want is um, soft meat, right? And um, what well, we want to prep it up a little bit. So I've got quite a few ingredients. So, like, so if I go through the ingredients that we need for today, um, is very soft meat and strips of meat. So, and we chop up a little bit of coriander in it, nice and smooth. Um, a bit of French onion, this is the way that I do it. Uh, and then we'll make a bit of the sauce as well. So in the sauce we have a bit of vinegar, a, bit, a tiny bit of oyster sauce, a bit of soy sauce, and a bit of ají banca. So this is my little trick. So this is a Peruvian, you can get it from uh, South American uh, grocery shops. And uh, we'll mix it up, we'll prep it up, and we'll fry the meat, and then we'll fry the veggies, and we'll look, it's a bit of a mix, and see how it all goes together. Um, but it will be a very, very good taste. So hopefully, see how we go. Um, yeah, oh, um, there's a bit of oyster sauce. And then we'll put some um, fried chips, and we'll put the fryer on later on, and a bit of um, um, rice to go with it. So hopefully, this will be a quick fix, and. Um, yeah, we'll get it ready to go. Ooh. So I've already got some diced um, meat. It's gonna be just a little bit of soft meat and um, we'll just get some of the garlic. But we'll mix it up with a little bit of olive oil. Esta canción te lleva alma, corazón y vida. Esa tres cositas nada. We'll let this settle. Uh, a bit of a marinade for the chef that is so we're going to chop the onions a special way to actually do this um, I love onions and but we're not going to use all of the onions because there's a bit of part of it that we don't actually use for the onions which is a middle part Aurora, this is my mother's name and my mother's song. So what we want to do is we don't want to use the middle part because it's usually when you fry it up is a little bit bitter. That's going to go in a little pot maybe. Just so we've got a bit of space. So we want to slice the tomatoes on the side. Yep, on the side. We don't want to get too much of the inside of the actual tomatoes so we sort of chop it in the middle and we want to get the middle out the heart chamber of the tomato we want to take it out I know it's a bit of a waste but um, it's just the way it is if you want something simple done at home lomo saltado is the way usually okay and so so we sort of cut it in strips Spring onions and the coriander. Oh, I love coriander for everything. Coriander for ceviche, for so many things. It's like, oh, it's my favorite. And I've got a little tip out there it's to actually use some spring onions. So, got some spring onions. One of my tricks that my mum used to do is like, I used to ask her, what is this? What's this uh, food called? And she used to say it was called shut up and eat because she was just so, so creative in anything that she'd done that um, she would just grab anything that's available and put it all together, whip it all up. And it was always amazing. It was just so, so good. And now what we're going to prep is a sauce. Woo! Rice is ready to go. So we're going to put a bit of oyster sauce in there. Bit of 
Soy sauce. And a bit of vinegar. And what we want to do is a ají panca. You get it from the South American, South American shops. I probably usually pour that when. Usually we have the Peruvian yellow chili, um, but I'm cheating here a little bit because this is my dad's homemade, pre-made sauce. Usually what we do is we actually peel the yellow chili, we slice it, we clean the inside out, so it's not too spicy. But this is like a prep sauce that my dad made earlier. He grows it himself at home. And um, he'd be disappointed if I'm not using it. Okay, so we're gonna start the frying pan and we're gonna put a bit of oil. We're gonna make sure that this is sizzling hot. Um, we might get Alf out of the way. We, hopefully we don't want him to catch on fire. So. Let's get rid of some of this juice. So we sort of cured it. My way to cuckoo. The whole thing is we gotta treat it like a stir fry and chuck it up and down. Right. Stir fry. Cebolla means onion in in uh, Spanish and tomate means tomato in English and now we're going to put the spring onion and the chopped up stems of the coriander ready to go we're going to put in the sauce the pre-mixed sauce we'll mix it all up oh yeah Oh, I can smell it now. Oh, I want that tomato back. Mm. It's got all the salt that we need. Mmm. Oh, yeah. And we're going to go put the meat back in. So this is a Peruvian stir fry, lomo saltado. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. Lomo saltado is a bit of a process, however, it's all worth it. And we're just going to get some potatoes and, you know, peel them up, ready to go, and then put them in the fryer. So. Here we're gonna have the potatoes. We chopped up, chopped up potatoes as a uh, hot chips. I finished all the fries. Um, yeah, so I deep fried them, and um, yeah, and I'll deep fry some of the garlic. We'll see how that goes. Now I'm pouring some of the rice and put some of the hot chips. We're gonna put some of the Lomo sentado in there. And we're gonna give it to one of my biggest critics. One of my biggest critics. Here we go. Mr. Leo. It's called Lomo Saltado. It's like Peruvian stir fry. Lomo Saltado. Lomo. Lomo. Saltado. Saltado. Yep. Lomo Saltado. Mm. That's surprisingly good. What? Out of ten? A seven out of ten. Oh. <laughs> I need to work on it. Okay. Cut, cut. <laughs>